Viking Ships at Sunrise, Magic Tree House number 15 by Mary Pope Osborne. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Jack opened his eyes. A thin gray light came through his window. His clock read 5 a.m. All was quiet. Today, we're going to ancient Ireland, he thought. Back more than a thousand years. Morgan Le Fay had told him that it was a very dangerous time with Vikings raiding the coast. You awake? came a whisper. Annie stood in his doorway. She was dressed and ready to go. Yeah, meet you outside, said Jack as he climbed out of bed. He pulled on his jeans and t-shirt and sneakers. He put his secret library card into his backpack with his notebook and pencil. Then he hurried downstairs. Annie was waiting for him in their yard. The air was damp and misty. Ready? she asked. Jack took a deep breath. I guess, he said. He was a little worried about the Vikings. They walked silently over the dewy grass. Then they ran up their street and into the Frog Creek woods. Mist clung to the trees as they walked through the dark woods. It's hard to see, said Jack. Where's the tree house? asked Annie. I have no idea, said Jack. And then something fell in front of them. Watch out, shouted Jack. He covered his head. The ladder, cried Annie. Jack opened his eyes. The rope ladder from the magic tree house dangled in front of them. Jack looked up. The tree house was hidden in the mist. Come on, let's go, said Annie. She grabbed the ladder and started up. Jack followed. They climbed through the wet air and into the tree house. Hello, said Morgan. I'm glad to see you. She was sitting in the corner. At her feet were the scroll they'd brought back from Roman times and the bamboo book from ancient China. I'm so glad to see you, said Jack. Me too, said Annie. It's a good thing you both came early, said Morgan. She reached into the folds of her robe and pulled out a piece of paper. Here's the ancient story you must find today, she said. Morgan handed the paper to Jack. On it were the words, Serpens Magna. The mysterious writing reminded Jack of the writing from their trip to the Roman town of Pompeii. That looks like Latin, he said. Very good, said Morgan. It is Latin. But I thought they spoke Latin in ancient Rome, said Annie. Aren't we going to Ireland? You are, said Morgan. But during the Dark Ages in Europe, educated people wrote in Latin. The Dark Ages, said Jack. Yes, said Morgan. The time after the fall of the Roman Empire. Why is it called dark, said Jack. It was a difficult time, said Morgan. People had to work very hard just to feed and clothe themselves. There was not a lot of time for playing, learning, or making art and music. Morgan pulled a book from her robe. Your research, she said, handing it to Annie. The title read, Ireland, Long Ago. Remember, said Morgan, your research book will guide you. But in your darkest hours... Only the ancient story can save us, Jack and Annie said together. And remember this, said Morgan. It must be your darkest hour when there is no hope left. If you ask for help too soon, it will not come. And we have to find the story first, said Annie. That is true, said Morgan. Do you have your secret library cards? Jack and Annie nodded. Show them to the wisest person you meet, said Morgan. Don't worry, said Annie. I think we're ready now. Annie pointed at the cover of the Ireland book. I wish we could go there, she said. She gave Morgan a little wave. See you soon. 
Good luck, said Morgan. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. And then everything was still. Absolutely still. And we'll read chapter two next time. Till then, as Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye-bye.